Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, in this video, we're going to be learning how to use threading in PyQt to create a live video feed in our PyQt window via OpenCV. So let's begin by looking at some theoretical concepts before we start programming. Now, our first step is to define what threading is. So in high level languages, a thread is essentially a separate program loop which executes simultaneously alongside your main program loop. In basic terms, it allows our programs to multitask. It's crucial when we're creating programs with GUIs as we don't want our windows to freeze up when we're executing time consuming processes. So we implement loops in PyQt using the QThread class. We start by, uh, well, we have our main program loop here, and we begin by initializing our QThread class within our main window object. Now this QThread class then executes parallel to our main program loop. If, say, we want to relay the results of processing in the thread class or change an attribute in the main window object, our QThread class will emit a PyQt signal. This signal will be connected to a slot in the main window class, and the slot should then execute whenever a signal is emitted. So in the context of this video, we'll, be, we'll need to use a thread to handle processing the output from our webcam without freezing our main program loop. Okay then, so before we can begin programming, we're going to need to install the correct uh, Python modules. So to install Py PyQt, go into Windows Command Prompt or Terminal on Mac and type in pip install PyQt5, hit enter. If you want to install OpenCV, it's pip install OpenCV-Py then dash headless and hit enter. Now, once those two modules are installed, we can come over to our Python IDE and we'll begin programming by making the correct imports. So import sys uh, from pyqt5.qtgui import star from pyqt5.qt widget import star from pyqt5.qt core import star and import cv2 so these are the imports we need to make our next step is to create our main window object so class main window and this class inherits from the q widget class Let's create our init function and we'll super that. Next step is to create a layout for our Q widget. So self.vbl equals QVbox layout. And then self.set layout, self.vbl. So we have our window, we have our layout, and we've attributed that layout to that window. Now let's populate the layout with widgets. Our first widget will be a queue label called feed label, and we'll use the queue picks map object to display an image from our OpenCV camera in this label. Let's add the label to our VBox layout. other widget we'll need is a cancel button to allow the user to stop the video feed. So Q but push button, cancel, and then add that to our VBox layout. That's our main window object. Now let's uh, initialize our Q, uh, our main window. If name equals main app equals q application pass sys dot argv into that root equals main window root dot show sys dot exit app dot exec now let's give this window a run and see what we come up with as you can see, our label right now is empty, 
we have our cancel button here. Excellent. Right, so our next step is to create our QFRED class. So class worker one, and this descends from the QFRED class. And this thread is gonna handle retrieving an image from our webcam and converting it into a format that PyQt can understand. Let's begin by defining uh, a signal that this uh, thread is going to emit when we need to interact with our main window class here. And we'll name this signal image update. So image update equals PyQt signal and the value that this uh, signal will emit is of the data type Q image. So we pass Q image in as a constructor there. Next step is to define the run function. And this is the function that's going to be called when we uh, call the dot start argument for our QFRED object. Um, so we'll begin by creating a boolean value here. We'll name it thread active equals true. Next step is to initialize our um, OpenCV camera. So capture equals cv2.video capture and we pass in the brackets here we pass the value zero in and that just means it's going to use your webcam to capture these frames. Now while self.thread active is true so we're using a while loop here in our QFRED class. If we were to use a while loop in our main window class, what would happen is the window would freeze. We wouldn't be able to interact it. That's why we need a QFRED for a job like this. So while self.thread is active, we'll get a frame, a single frame from our uh, webcam. Capture.read if ret. So if there isn't an issue with getting this frame, we'll convert this frame into an RGB image. CV2.color underscore BGR to RGB. Now this format uh, it still can't be understood by PyQt. So We'll flip the image first, and then we'll convert it into a Q image that PyQt can understand. So flipped image equals cv2.flip, and we'll pass image in and one. And the one shows that we're flipping it on the vertical axis. Now convert to Qt format, and that equals an instance of the Q image class. We'll pass in flipped image dot data, and all that means is we're passing in the binary values, value of the variable flipped image. We'll define the shape, so flipped image dot shape one, the index one, and flipped image dot shape index zero, and then define the format q image dot format underscore rgb 888 now pick equals convert to qt format dot scaled and all we're doing here is changing the size of our q image so i'm going to do 640 by 480 and this is important here qt dot keep aspect ratio and that means we're not going to have any funky shapes or anything when we're resizing. Final step within the run function is to emit our thread. So self.imageUpdate.emit and we'll pass the variable pick into our emit uh, function. So what that's going to do is when that emit function is called uh, it will send a message to our main window class which is where we're going to construct this uh, object and the main window class should act on that and it's going to transmit the data stored under the variable pick when that happens. The other thing we'll need to add to our um, QFRED is a stop function. 
for when we want to stop this uh, from running. So all we'll do is set self act, uh, dot thread active to false and that'll stop our while loop here from happening and self dot quit. So this here is our queue thread and what we'll have to do now is define this thread within our uh, main program loop. So all we do, self.worker1 equals uh, worker1. So we create an instance of our queue thread class. Now we're going to uh, start our function, uh, self.worker1.start. Now the question is, what do we do when this signal is emitted? What we're going to have to do is connect the signal to a slot. So let's first create our slot. And we implement slots as simple functions, self uh, image update slot. All image update slot is going to do is change the uh, picks map stored, uh, displayed by the feed label to the um, value, the queue image that's being emitted here. So self.feedlabel.setPixMap QPixMap dot from image image. Uh, this slot here should take the parameter image, I forgot to mention. And that will just be the value that's emitted here. So, our worker1 thread, it makes a connection with our camera, it captures a frame, it converts this frame into a queue image, and then it emits that frame. Our uh, main window receives that image, and it executes this function. So, just in here, we're going to do self.worker1.imageUpdate.connect image update slot. Last step is to define our uh, function for when the user presses the cancel button. So def cancel feed self dot worker one dot stop and we'll connect this button to that function self dot cancel etn dot click dot connect self dot cancel feed so that's our completed code um, the code sh uh, link to the code will be in the video description if you need to have a closer look at that final step now is to run the code and see if it works so there we go hi guys there's our window uh, our camera, our live video feed, and if I hit the cancel button, you can see that I've stopped moving. So, there's our project done. Uh, a lovely OpenCV PyQt video feed uh, implemented using the QFRED class. If you need, if you have any questions, anything isn't working, drop a comment. I'll try my best to help you out code should be uh, there should be a link to the source code in the description thanks for watching guys bye